Welcome back, Seth Bling here, and you are looking at the very first 3D animation in Minecraft. As we watch the tree, it goes from frame to frame and it grows a little bit each time. Okay, it's a big tree, and then the animation resets and it goes back to a little step, a little sapling. You can look at it from any angle. I'm on the ground so that the uh, TNT explosion doesn't blast me way away, but uh, I mean yeah, in the background here you can see, oh that's loud, you can see the templates that I used for the frames. So you can see all, all four frames here in the animation, and those are what show up over here. Uh, the way that this works is again using mob spawners. Okay, we can sort of see what's going on here, but basically the idea is there's a bunch of mob spawners here that spawn the first frame. And then a short while later, there's a couple mob spawners here that spawn prime TNT, and this TNT has zero fuse. And that's what blows up the, the two blocks in the first frame. And that happens just before the second frame shows up. So, I mean, you can see sort of what's going on there. You can actually see the TNT if you look real close. So, so it spawned the whole thing, and then there's one block there and one block there of TNT that shows up. That blows those up and clears room for the second frame which is these spawners, and then this one clears the second frame, make the third frame, clear the third frame, make the fourth frame, clear the fourth frame, and these are all just time to have uh, a delay in between spawns such that it just loops seamlessly and goes right back on itself. And I had to use an MC Edit filter to do this, and so you can download that filter from the video description along with this world if you'd like and you can try to make your own 3D animations. Basically, all you have to do to do that is set it up like this. Make sure that there's even spacing. I've used, here, let's mark it off, uh, one, two, three, four, five blocks per frame. And so basically, you just have to line them up like this and then tell it how wide each frame is. And it'll figure out the rest for you. Uh, I don't think it's going to handle <laughs> too big of, uh, like if you had big objects, it probably would break down just because enough TNT going on at once will just crash your client. I actually have I had some experience with that while I was trying to get this all set up. But I'm, uh, I'm really proud of showing you guys the very first 3D animation in Minecraft. I'm going to put all those 3D animators out of business, I think, pretty soon here with this. Okay, maybe not, but it's still pretty cool. That's about it. Thanks for watching.